Hey guys, hope you can join me as we draw Obsidian Dark Peel. Let's start with constructing up this cool looking, fierce looking banana type shape. So a couple of curved lines for the main parts of him. And then heading up into the banana section up there. Obsidian Dark Peel. I'm just going to put a line through the middle because that's like a guideline. And then the, this line here is sort of the other part, other side of the banana. Comes down to a bottom point like so. Okay, so this is where his belt is going to be. So putting in where his belt is. It's got like a V shape coming up here for the, that kicks out like that. And so when you're drawing pictures, it helps to break it down into simple shapes first and then go from there. So that's the same height. So I'll just bring that one up a bit. Um, he's got these cool sort of, pretty hard to see some of him. So he's got an arm that comes out there and then comes into this sort of like cool glove looking thing like this. And then he's got another one out here that is sort of like a shape like this. And he's got heaps of capes and all sorts of stuff coming off too, but I'm just constructing him up, simplifying him down. He's got a leg here. When I outline it, you'll be able to see that a bit better, but this is how I would draw it. This one's a bit more solid on this boot. Um, so his boot's like that. Hey, thanks to those guys who wanted me to draw every banana character from Stumble Guys. They are awesome characters. So this is where his goggle sort of is there. Shape like that. I'm doing it as a rounded shape for now, but I'll make that look better. Okay, there's a V for his... It's got a V sort of shape there. It kicks back his belt on that side. I've got the plan of Obsidian Dark Peel in. Now it's time to put the details on. So I'm going to start with his, what I think is his nose. So it comes down like this, back up. And then now his goggles, I'm sort of going to make him a bit more geometric sort of looking. So that's why I've done the circle to help me guide where they are. You can leave them rounded if you want, but I sort of kind of like this look. Now do a similar sort of shape in there. Like so. So there's one goggle. Let's get the other one looking good. So I've sort of done a little, little line like that. A fairly long one comes back on an angle. And you just sort of curve that down with some straighter lines. Another one, and then across. And then we just sort of finish off the inside of, of that. Now on his nose, if you look closely and you zoom in, there's these three of these things, like a little one, two, three. I'm going to draw a line here. And that's going to come up into the top of top of it, like that. And then this comes down, and then starts coming out. Now his goggle does come around. He does have like a strap that comes around off his goggle. And then his banana comes down into his cape. So this is like a like a cape here and that line would carry that line down. Now I've got this V of his front of his column. So I'm going to just do this line coming down into there and a line coming out to there. Now what we do is we double thickness that. Bring that down to there like so. Hope you're doing a good job at home. I'm sure you are. If you're following along, keep drawing. And keep trying your best so that comes into there now it comes out near his um, glasses or goggles whatever you want to call them and then back in 
Over this side, I'm going to just finish this line here off like this. Comes out there. Then we've got another side bit. Then that comes comes down around like this. And then comes back in. This one comes around like so, just where the goggles are. Yeah, pretty happy with that so far. Now let's keep going. Bring this, continue this line straight down to where it hits the belt. Bring this line down to where it would also hit the belt. Now let's draw the belt. We've got a triangle shape, and inside that triangle shape, we've got another shape that looks like this. Almost like the Decepticon logo from the Transformers. Okay, we bring that around the edge, and that has some lines through it like this. Same with this side belt, let's bring that around. Bring that down to about there. This is the belt there. And we've got some side lines there. Follow those ones. And then these ones. The one there. Bring this down into the base of. So you see slightly like that. And then bring that out. Line that up. This from here, we line this up. Now let's draw his hand. This is going to be really tricky, but like this, and then there's the thumb, and then the bit that comes around like that, and then this is where his arm comes in, like this, and then we'll bring that around like that. Now he does have the side of the banana, but he also has a cape that comes down, and this is where it, what confused me, because it looked like it was the same, but it's not. This is a cape that comes off the back. And it sort of follows into there. So that's his cape on that side. Let's draw his other hand. So he's got his thumb, his hand, and then it comes around like this. I'm just going to put a line here like that. Because I reckon that's what happens here. It comes around like this, and then we've got the glove coming in there like that. So there's his hand with a glove and a wrist guard on. Now on this side he's got more cape, but before we do that cape we're going to put his boot on. So there's his shoe, there's his boot, draw a top rim for that. And then his boot comes around like this and then back up like there now he's got a cape that comes out and this is all jagged looking this cape cape like so let's bring this around Straight down and in, like that. And then he's got his boot front on. I'm going to draw like a little V shape there. And there's another line that comes through there. Through here. And then there's another line that comes down. And it sort of forms like a shape there like that. Couple of little jagged, there's another jagged bit there. There's another bit that comes off here, like that. It's got some rays coming off each side. 